The year is 2026, and after years of speculation, leaks, and promises, the Tesla Model 2 has finally been confirmed by Elon Musk before an audience of impatient shareholders. The car that many thought would never see the light of day now even has a release date, the first quarter of this year. And no, it's not here to compete with the brand's own luxury models. It's here to definitively democratize access to electric vehicles. Elon made it clear, the mission is to put the world's most affordable electric car on the road and quickly. And the Model 2 is the perfect instrument for that. Simple, straightforward, and with a breathtaking proposition. Tesla performance at the price of a popular hatchback. And speaking of price, if you're expecting something around $40,000, you can breathe a sigh of relief. The Model 2 arrives with an almost unbelievable offer by Tesla standards, $15,990 for the base version. The most complete version, the long range, comes in at around $30,000. But the icing on the cake? Both versions already include the FSD package, full self-driving, which, until recently, cost an additional $10,000. That, in itself, changes everything. We're talking about a car that drives itself and costs less than many combustion engine sedans on the American market. The announcement generated a mixture of euphoria and relief among fans of the brand. After all, for months, the project was considered dead. Rumors pointed to cancellation, internal cuts, and production difficulties. But Elon, with his unpredictable way of turning things around, brought confirmation at the right time. He said that the Model 2 will be Tesla's most unforgettable car. And honestly, it seems that it will be. Not because it's the most powerful, nor the most technological, but because it's the most strategic, the most symbolic. It's the car that can bring millions of people into the Tesla ecosystem for the first time. Contrary to what many expected, the Model 2 will not be a visual or technological breakthrough for the brand. In fact, the proposal is almost the opposite. The Model 2 was designed to be the most minimalist of all Teslas ever produced. No frills, no excesses, no electronic bells and whistles. It carries the essence of Tesla, with lines reminiscent of the Model 3, the Model Y, and even a touch of the Model S, but with a clear objective to cut everything that increases costs without sacrificing the core experience of driving a Tesla. And look, that requires a very sharp engineering of priorities. One of the boldest and perhaps most controversial decisions was to remove features considered dispensable to lower the final cost. Elon is betting on the idea that many of the features that make today's cars expensive are simply not frequently used by drivers. And you know what? He has a point. Do you really need 20 different electric adjustments in the passenger seat or a rear screen that nobody looks at? For the Model 2, the answer was a resounding no. The focus is on driving, safety, and range. The rest, if possible, comes later. Of course, some people turned up their noses. After all, Tesla has always been associated with the idea of technological vanguard. But now it seems to be saying that true innovation lies in accessibility, not excess. And this profoundly affects the market. After all, the Model 2 is not just a product, it's a strategy. It's a way to guarantee brand presence on the streets, in garages, in supermarket parking lots. If before the Tesla dream was unattainable for many people, now it is literally within reach of affordable financing. While the Model 2's exterior is already impressive for its minimalist and accessible design, the interior doesn't disappoint in its ability to do a lot with a little. Upon entering the cabin, the first sensation is one of spaciousness. Not because the car is huge, but because every inch has been carefully considered to appear functional and clean. The center console, for example, resembles the Cybertruck's structure, open, simple, and without that multitude of compartments that nobody uses. The finishes follow the same spirit, vegan fabric and leather, without extravagant stitching or chrome details. Does it seem basic? It is. 
But it's not sloppy, it's intentional, and that's what draws attention. One of the boldest bets was to eliminate almost all physical buttons. Everything, absolutely everything, is controlled by the touchscreen. This includes seat adjustments, air conditioning, and even mirrors. It may seem like overkill, but for those already living in the smartphone ecosystem, this transition makes sense. The driver's seat has 10-way power adjustment, while the passenger seat offers four positions, both controlled by the screen. It's the kind of solution that divides opinions, but it speaks directly to Tesla's style of braking patterns and saving space and parts. Cost cutting is also evident in details that most drivers might not immediately notice. For example, the exterior mirrors are manually adjustable. The rear screen, the one that came in the back seats on more expensive models, has been completely removed. The air vents for rear passengers are also manual. Is this annoying? For some, yes. But for those who just want a functional, reliable, and attractive electric car for under $16,000, these sacrifices are far from being a real problem. Speaking of comfort, the Model 2 still manages to offer small luxuries within its more compact scope. The front seats are heated, the interior lighting combines fabric tones and discreet LEDs, and the sound system features seven speakers with good quality for the category. The seats use a mix of fabric and vegan leather that doesn't try to pretend to be premium, and frankly, it doesn't need to. Sound insulation has been improved with a new interior lining in the glass roof, and outward visibility remains a strong point, even with the manually folding mirrors. In practical terms, Tesla has maintained a generous 75 cubic foot trunk, ideal for those who use the car daily and need space for shopping, luggage, or equipment. The standard wheels are 18 inches, but 19-inch wheels are available if the buyer wants a more robust look. Towing capacity reaches an impressive 3,500 pounds, something rare in vehicles in this price range. And of course, the car is fully compatible with Tesla's supercharger network, ensuring convenience for longer trips. The range of the base model is also impressive. With 300 miles per charge, the Model 2 delivers more than many electric SUVs that cost twice as much. And if you need to recharge in a hurry, just 15 minutes at a supercharger is enough to recover a good portion of the charge. This eliminates the battery anxiety that still haunts many people when considering switching to an electric vehicle. And between us, when you combine high range with short charging times, the fear of being stranded simply disappears. The long-range version of the Model 2 doesn't try to be a luxury car in disguise, but rather an alternative for those who want a little more range, comfort, and performance, without straying from Tesla's simplicity vision for 2026. With a 53 kilowatt battery, this version can travel up to 321 miles on a single charge, something that, let's face it, beats many premium models out there. And the best part? Without that inflated price tag. The estimated price of $30,000 includes acceleration from zero to to 60 meters stood in 5.8 seconds, which is surprising for a vehicle with an affordable proposition. This performance is the result of an efficient yet restrained package. The 310 horsepower delivers agile and responsive driving without compromising fuel consumption. And yes, the car retains its minimalist approach. Everything is controlled via the central screen. This includes everything from adjusting the seats to the side mirrors. Forget physical buttons. It's all software-based, as if you were operating a tablet on wheels. It might seem strange at first, but once you get used to it, any car with buttons feels like a relic of the past. The interior remains true to Tesla's mantra, less is more. The panoramic sunroof has been retained and provides an incredible sense of spaciousness for those inside. The front doors have received enhanced sound insulation and the rear windows are tempered, improving cabin quietness during the journey. The second row of seats is still manually foldable, without motorization or sensors. Again, the idea here is to prioritize the essentials. Everything superfluous and cost-effective has been left out. 
And honestly, nobody misses it that much. The sound system continues with seven speakers and delivers a solid experience, even without being premium. The 15.4-inch screen dominates the dashboard and is practically the only interface between you and the car. Climate control, navigation, entertainment, driving modes, everything goes through there. The absence of a rear screen, 360 sensors, and Apple CarPlay integration isn't exactly a flaw. It's a choice. Tesla has made it clear that this model doesn't intend to compete with the competition's tech toys. It is, above all, a functional and straightforward car. Charging remains fast, 225 kilowatt of power, promising to add 170 miles of range in just 15 minutes. This, combined with full access to the supercharger network, transforms any long trip into a drama-free experience. You no longer need to plan each stop as if you were crossing the desert. And this is where Tesla shines. It not only delivers the car, but the complete ecosystem. The overall experience ends up being smoother and more predictable, something that many drivers of other brands still dream of having. Another detail that often goes unnoticed, but makes a difference, is the car's weight. The long-range version weighs around 3,179 pounds, maintaining a good balance between lightness and stability. And the trunk, even with everything more streamlined, still offers 7.2 cubic meters of capacity. This shows that, despite cuts in some features, the practical focus was maintained. The idea of an urban car, light and easy to maintain, but also capable of handling a trip with luggage, was well executed. It's not an SUV, but it's not a fragile little car either. When Tesla revealed that the Model 2 would be manufactured using the innovative unboxed process, many people were excited, and rightly so. This approach promises to revolutionize how cars are produced, reducing costs by up to 50% and decreasing the space required in factories by about 40%. But how is this possible? Simple. The car's parts, such as doors, panels, and even the floor structure with the seats and battery, are built separately and only joined together in the final stage. It's like assembling a giant, intelligent Lego set, where everything fits together without needing that traditional production line we've known for over 100 years. The key to this revolution is the structural battery which not only powers the car, but is also part of the chassis structure itself. This eliminates redundant components and makes the vehicle lighter, more efficient, and cheaper. And it doesn't stop there. The new motor, which was unveiled at Investor Day, costs only $1,000, a third of the price of the Model Y motor. And it's not just any motor. It uses zero rare earth elements, has 75% less silicon carbide, and was designed with Tesla's own algorithms, optimizing performance, noise, and even material consumption. This combination of modular design, structural battery, and compact motor creates an unprecedented scenario for Tesla, achieving unprecedented production scalability with lower costs and greater speed. And yes, all this while maintaining the performance and range that the public expects from the brand. But, like any industrial revolution, Unboxed also brought challenges. After all, we're talking about a profound change at the heart of any factory, the assembly method. And replacing something so well established with a new system, however promising, is always a calculated risk. That's when Tesla began to experience growing pains. Although Unboxed is brilliant on paper, its practical implementation required precise calibration of machines, robots, sensors, and software. And any failure, however minor, could halt the entire production. This became a particular problem when the goal was to accelerate the delivery of the Model 2. After all, there's no point in promising a cheap car if it can't leave the factory in the necessary volume. And it was at this point that the company decided to recalculate its course. The solution? Adopt a hybrid strategy. Instead of producing the Model 2 100% with unboxed technology, Tesla began combining elements of the new technology 
with traditional production methods, such as those used in the Model 3 and Y. This doesn't mean abandoning innovation, it means being pragmatic. By integrating part of the new system into existing lines, Tesla can deliver the Model 2 on time, in high volume, without relying entirely on a process that is still maturing, a move that simultaneously protects the brand and pleases investors. Another interesting point was the evolution of the Model 2's engine itself. Not only is it cheaper and lighter, but it also occupies half the space of the Model Y's engine. This allows for greater flexibility within the car's platform, opens the way for new internal solutions, and further facilitates the modular process. It's almost as if the engine were a snap-fit piece that can be adapted according to the model or need. This production flexibility is a trump card in a market that changes as rapidly as the electric vehicle market. With time running out and pressure mounting, Tesla decided to do what few expected. It abandoned the idea of manufacturing the Model 2 entirely using the unboxed process and opted for something safer, producing it on the same lines as the Model 3 and Model Y. This doesn't mean innovation was thrown out the window. On the contrary, what the company did was combine the best of both worlds. It used the base of older, already tested and reliable platforms and incorporated elements of the new generation wherever possible. This allowed them to accelerate production, reduce risks, and maintain the delivery plan for 2026 without sacrificing the Tesla identity. This move raised some eyebrows. After all, if the Model 2 is going to be built on older lines, is it just a poor man's Model 3? The question is valid, but incomplete. Tesla isn't just recycling old ideas, it's reimagining how those ideas can work better with less. By mixing platforms, it manages to maintain the brand's DNA, rapid acceleration, refined handling, full software integration with a new, leaner approach. The result? A car that has the soul of a Tesla, but the body of a startup. Still, this decision required certain cuts. Many modern features were left out to maintain the aggressive price. 360 sensors, cameras with predictive intelligence, automatic windshield wipers, and even Apple CarPlay integration were removed from the list. But look, this wasn't an accident. It was intentional. The idea was to keep only what truly adds value in everyday life. And look, if you have to choose between a self-driving car and one that only has dancing ambient lighting, it's not such a difficult decision, is it? Even with these omissions, the Model 2 doesn't disappoint. Engineers managed to preserve the performance, range, and semi-autonomous driving system that are already Tesla's trademark. All this using tools already available in current factories. This type of intelligent repurposing not only saves billions of dollars in infrastructure, but also prevents cars from getting stuck in an unstable supply chain, something that has become a nightmare for the automotive industry in recent years. This approach also opened up space for more scalable production. By not relying exclusively on an experimental assembly line, Tesla can alternate Model 2 production with other models whenever necessary. This gives the company more flexibility, allowing it to respond quickly to market changes. Whether it's an unexpected increase in demand or a cut in government subsidies. And since the car already shares components with the Model 3 and the Y, maintenance and after-sales service also become simpler and cheaper. Another positive aspect of this platform merger is the familiarity it brings to assembly line workers. They already know the system. Where each part goes, 